What is going on my Guardian Gamers? It's I, Birdman, back with another Destiny 2 build. And today, I'm going to be showing off the super insane buff to the Worm God exotic gauntlets. These have always been kind of just like second fiddle to the Synthoseps. And now I actually genuinely think they are a uh, up to tier viable option just alongside them now a few extra little caveats kind of make it maybe eh, back and forth but we will talk about that later in the video before i get into that know you can follow me over on youtube and twitter at birdman778 give a thumbs up on this video let me know something you're interested in seeing down below whether it's hunter titan or warlock subscribe and become a member to get your name at the end of the video now let's jump right on into it now first off you're obviously gonna need those worm god carrots uh these are uh you know really horrifically looking uh they've never given us a ornament for these so you have to deal with this horrifying horrifying shoulders but it reads burning fist defeating a target with a melee or a finisher grants escalating melee damage which decays over time higher level of burning fist grant increased weapon damage now this is going to essentially just constantly just juice the hell out of your melee uh, there's five different stages and it can go up to essentially i would say i think it's like safe to say about 15 seconds you are uh, at a charge uh, but for every second off of that it's just going to uh, kind of decay so you have about 10 seconds on the first charge and then it's going to increase by a second for each one of them so again going all the way up now this is just going to constantly juice it up uh, to a i believe it's like 275 percent extra damage which is actually insane i think it's like between 250 and 275 so uh, if you know the exact number let me down below but uh, these are absolutely freaking stupid now now personally i think you need to combo these with the strand subclass first off the blade fury obvious one uh, you aren't going to get the same benefits uh, out of the synthoseps with this super extra damage uh, with this, but uh, at the same time, the Blade Fury is still probably the best roaming super in the game. Obviously, you want to get that Frenzy Blade. It's the only option you have, but the sever that it gives is absolutely insane. And also, uh, it just does really dumb damage. So make sure that you're trying to uh, spec into anything to constantly get your melee so you're always able to use this and do stupid damage. Grapple is probably the one I think is best to use just because of that extra uh, melee damage that you're able to get from it. Uh, but you can also swap over to Shadow Grenade if you're needing targets to stop at one place or you just like uh, don't have the certain weapon to like match like an unstop champion when it comes to our aspects first off banner of war definitely the most important one to defeat a target with a melee attack finisher or sword to raise a banner of war that pulses with energy periodically healing nearby allies increasing melee and sword damage and then targets defeated by you nearby allies charge the banner increasing the speed of its pulses now this got a bit of a nerf in the most recent season and by nerf i mean it it's just like harder to get those stacks up but they inherently also buffed it at the same time by increasing the time of each one of those stacks of banner of war uh so it is it's i think it's actually more of a buff than anything uh, and it works perfect for this setup because you just like never die i mean as you watch the gameplay uh me going over like the vex uh, terminal as well as doing the coil i just don't die i don't die i'm in the thick of it all the time just punching people and they're always instantly dying it is absolutely freaking stupid uh and then but obviously comboing that with like into the fray uh destroying a tangler casting your super grants you have a woven mail which uh, woven mail is just great for that extra damage reduction and while you have woven mail your melee regenerate is increased so obviously we're going to be constantly trying to uh, destroy those tangles and something else in our subclass is going to help with that as well for the fragments first off uh threat of fury damaging targets with a tangle grants melee energy obvious easy one you got to have it on there uh, so you're constantly able to keep up those frenzy blades threat of warding pick up an orb of uh, power grants woven mail again this is the easy one to constantly keep up that extra damage reduction on top of those healing pulses that you're already getting it's freaking stupid you're just like an absolute tank just like punch i mean this is the most titan build i think i've ever created it is so titan it hurts my face threat of generation dealing damage generates grenade energy obvious one you're just constantly punching that's damaged there you go and then threat of continuity suspend unravel and sever effects apply to targets have increased duration uh this is kind of a flex one you can definitely swap it out but i like it just to keep those uh sever effects going longer on targets no real perfect weapon to use for this setup i just definitely recommend something with one two punch to get that extra damage off of our melees and then i also just like tractor cannon because it's able to help me deal with overload champions but also just in general debuffing targets constantly to ensure that my punch is doing even more damage when it comes to the mods you're going to be wanting to use for this setup first off on the helmet you uh, harmonic siphon's an easy one just to put on just to kind of fill a spot more than anything with this build you don't really need it but it it, it fills a spot 
Uh, heavy ammo finder, definitely important to keep up that tractor cannon ammo if that's what you're going to want to use and definitely a hands-on so that we're able to get more super energy with each one of our melee kills on our gloves a heavy handed so that we're able to get more orbs of power whenever we get those final blows with our powered melee and then i went with a double melee kick start this is one that you can probably swap out uh, for something like a momentum transfer, bolstering detonation, one of those, you know. Um, but I, I just like it just because, you know, ensuring that I'm able to get those uh, armor charges and those are going to convert into more powered melee uh, uses. Chest piece, concussive dampener, don't really need it even because you got woven mail and you got the constant healing pulse from Band of War. So again, kind of a flex spot. Uh, and then I went the double charged up again. I could even go triple charged up if I really felt like it. On our legs, I went with an elemental charge. This one I've been constantly probably going to put on here just because whenever I destroy a tangle, I'm going to get an armor charge from that. So definitely really important. Uh, I did a recuperation as well just for some extra healing and then a stacks on stacks so that each one of those thread or I should say tangle uh, explosions or, you know, orbs of power are counting as two armor charges. And then finally on our mark, I went with a powerful traction pull in all those orbs whenever I activate my barrier reaper so that whenever I activate my barrier my next weapon kill is going to give me an orb power and then an outreach so that I'm getting some uh, melee energy whenever I activate that ability around targets now when it comes to the artifact literally nothing that I have on right now is helping me out whatsoever I think the only one that might would be like flint striker just so that i'm becoming radiant with my shotgun uh and then i'm maybe revitalizing blast not really at all just because i'm not even using solar abilities uh but solo operative definitely is going to eventually be definitely really important just because it's going to give me that extra damage when i am playing solo especially in coil coil is so much fun everyone needs to go play coil coil is hot 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 we need more coil now i always like to talk about how this is end game viable first off with the barrier side of things uh, unraveling weapons yeah that's cool and all but we're probably going to be getting uh, radiant from our shotgun uh, I definitely recommend again using some type of solar weapon uh, to get that radiant effect so you're able to do that uh, for unstoppable whenever we suspend targets uh, we're able to do that but also I've been using hand cannon a lot so that works and then for that overload definitely just again tractor cannon uh, is going to be able to debuff targets and suppress them so that we're able to get that stun off. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you guys really enjoyed the setup. Make sure you let me know down below something you're interested in seeing, whether it's Hunter, Titan, or Warlock, uh, and give a thumb up, thumbs up on the video just because it helps us out in the algorithm. Subscribe, become a member, get your name at the end of the video, and make sure you follow me over on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778. Guys, I've been really enjoying all these exotic changes. I think it's pretty solid all around, and I definitely think that uh, I think things are kind of looking up. Um, we are going to have a seven month season, so that's definitely kind of doo doo. Uh, so hopefully the, the dungeon coming out. To, well, I mean, from when I'm recording this going out tomorrow uh, is super hot fire. And hopefully the uh, into the light or whatever it's called quest in April is pretty solid. But again, I'm going to quit ranting. Uh, thank you so much for watching the video. Make sure you follow me on YouTube and Twitter at Birdman778 and hope you have a great night, day, wherever it may be.